Imagine a world full of beauty, a land of sweeping vistas, sandy soil, and perfect climate. This isn't a product of imagination. This is the chaparral. The chaparral is located in some of the hottest vacation destinations around the globe, like Australia, Italy, and Southern California. And come on, who wouldn't want to visit SoCal? These locations have the perfect touch of sunlight, as they are located at latitudes 30 to 50 degrees north, and also 30 to 40 degrees south. This means that the sun doesn't hit directly, so the chaparral isn't as unbearable like along the equator, but also isn't freezing like in the northern latitudes where the sun is extremely angled. And what does this mean? A great place to be outdoors and a perfect tan. In fact, out in the chaparral, the average coldest temperature is 64 degrees Fahrenheit, while the average high temperature ranges from 75 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. There's also almost no chance of rain ruining your vacation either, as the chaparral only receives 10 to 17 inches of rain per year. However, a majority of this rain comes during the winter in the form of quick, refreshing downpours that can wash away nutrients from the soil. While the sandy loam has good porosity and therefore drains well, plants must be specialized to survive in this nutrient deficient soil. Yet despite the poor soil quality and lack of rain, life in the chaparral abounds. Come see the fairy duster. It's unlike anything you've ever imagined. A flowering evergreen bush, this beauty is unique because it's drought deciduous, meaning the leaves fall off when water is lacking. Come see a variety of sclerophyll vegetation. These woody bushes can survive in low phosphorus conditions because their leaves are hard due to lignin, which prevents wilting and allows plants to grow even when there aren't enough nutrients. It's a one-of-a-kind adaptation. Come see the Protea, a plant that takes in moisture in through its leaves. Its bloom is one of the most stunning sights in the chaparral landscape. Come at night to see the Puma a mountain cat with the agility of an Olympic athlete. It leaps as high as 18 feet in one bound, and as far as 40 to 45 feet horizontally. The puma's top running speed also ranges between 40 to 50 miles per hour. Come see the cactus friend. This beauty is about seven to eight inches in length, tends to build nests in successional chaparral shrub. They breed multiple times and build multiple football-shaped nests due to their predators. This bird also has a remarkable sound. Forget what the fox says when you can hear this call. Come see jackals, a medium-sized dog known for its tight-knit family structure. Jackals are monogamous and very protective of their incredibly cute pups, rearing them for almost two years after birth. And who wouldn't want to protect these cuties? So, if you want to meet these exciting critters and see these unique plants, there's only one place on Earth you can do so. Whether you just take a day hike or climb up a mountain to take in the views, there is always something new and exciting to see in the chaparral. Whether you experience the chaparral in the Mediterranean, where it is referred to as maquis, and is known for having higher shrubs than in other parts of the world, or whether you experience the chaparral in Chile, where it is called matural, and shares many characteristics with the shrubland of California, or whether you experience the chaparral of South Africa, known locally as Fienbos, where there are some of the highest rates of biodiversity and endemism in the world. Or whether you experience the chaparral in western and southern Australia, where it is known as Kwangan, and is especially praised for its beautiful display of spring wildflowers. 
and especially if you experience the chaparral in Southern California. You are bound to have the trip of a lifetime. Warning! Chaparral ecosystems are prone to extreme fires. While these events are very beneficial to plant communities and help maintain a healthy ecosystem, they can be dangerously unpredictable to humans. Plan your trip accordingly.